Hi, this is the Parent Night um, Curriculum Night introduction for the AP US Government and Politics course for freshmen. This is the year-long course. I'm Mr. Campbell. Hi, nice to meet you. Um, I have been teaching for 14 years, seven of those years here at Cambridge. I teach um, government, American and comparative government. One of the things I hope to do is convince your students to take comparative government with me their junior or senior year. It is a phenomenal class. Um, Prior to teaching, I worked in government consulting, and I was an administrator at a university. Um, if you need to contact me, my email is campbelljc at fultonschools.org. That's Campbell, J as in Julius, C as in Charlie, at fultonschools.org. Um, this class will prepare students to be uh, to take the AP U.S. Government Politics exam in um, May, for which they can potentially receive college credit. Um, it's also to prepare them to be an American citizen, um, to know about the government politics of the country and to be an active, engaged, and knowledgeable citizen, which is necessary in a functioning democracy. Um, we will cover the um, curriculum over two semesters. The first semester, we anticipate doing chapters one through seven and chapter 13. Chapter 13 is about elections, so I'd like to do the, um, the chapter on elections before we have our elections. Um, very important this semester, or at least while we're doing universal remote learning, it's very important during this time that students are um, diligent and accountable for their own learning. Um, during the universal remote learning, um, the students will be able to use their books and um, notes on, um, uh, on assessments, the, the assessments account for grades. Um, they will not likely be able to do this on the AP exam. And when we return in person, they won't be able to do this. So it's important that they at least, they're allowed to retake assessments during universal remote learning. So I think it's important that they, um, that they maybe try to take it the first time without um, the aid of, of books and notes. And then, you know, in subsequent re, in retakes, if they want to use the books and notes, use them then. Um, and then they can, you know, earn a higher grade. Um, the textbook for this class is American Government, Stories of a Nation by Abernathy and Waples. Um, students can either sign up on um, the link that was emailed out by the school um, to create a schedule to come pick up their textbooks. If that um, schedule is, you know, or, or if their appointment is, you know, down the road, um, the students can access the, um, um, textbook through Fulton School's class link. They would just, um, you know, Google the phrase Fulton School's class link, um, enter, you know, the first result would be their um, Fulton School's class link, um, enter their um, password, uh, or, or sorry, student ID and, and password, the same they do for their Surface or, or, their, or their Fulton School's email, um, and then um, uh, they would click on uh, Bedford, Freeman, and Worth. That's the um, name of the publisher of the textbook. Um, and um, they would be able to access the textbook digitally. In order to take the AP exam in May, students must register um, for the class in AP Classroom. Um, if they're not registered in AP Classroom, um, the school will not order an exam for them, and they will not be able to take an exam this May. Um, it's important, this is a two-step process. The first step is to set up an AP Classroom account. Um, so you go, the students go to AP Classroom um, and they set up an account. It is important that they do not use their Fulton County Schools email um, to set up that, um, that account. So again, do not use the Fulton County Schools email to set up the, the account for AP Classroom. The Fulton Schools email will not get emails from the College Board. Um, and uh, unfortunately, that would make it so that the student couldn't complete the registration process and therefore wouldn't be registered. So once they have, um, once a student has the AP Classroom account, they need to click Join a Class. There's a little button that says Join a Class, and they enter the code for the appropriate um, AP um, Class section that they're in. So for first period, here's the code. For second period, here's the code. And for seventh period, here's the code. Um, those are the codes. Um, and if they register for the wrong class, I can actually move them, but I cannot register them, and, I, and the school cannot register them for the class. So if they don't have an AP Classroom account, or if they do have an AP Classroom account but have not registered for any 
um, of, of the sections, um, the school, uh, Fulton County Schools, the district, me, the teacher, none of us can register the student. Um, and the college board, and I'm, sometimes unlike Fulton Schools, um, the, the, um, the college board is very, very strict with its deadlines. Um, if the student misses the deadline for registration, which I believe is in um, early October, um, the student will not be able to register for and take the exam. Um, or the very, you know, so um, as I understand the situation. So it is imperative students who intend on taking the AP exam in May register for AP classroom and register for um, my class in AP classroom using these codes. Um, my lesson plan and my lesson plans and my syllabus are in um, Microsoft Teams. Um, you just go into the, the team for the class, whichever period um, your, your student has in the class, and then you click on this red button, that uh, this red um, circled thing that says files. In Teams, it's not, it doesn't have a red circle, but you click on files and then you'll see the lesson plans and the syllabus are there. Um, similarly, if you go into files Teams and click on um, chapter one or chapter two or whichever chapter um, we're currently in, um, or currently studying, um, you'll be able to get the PowerPoints and other um, any other pertinent files for that chapter. Thank you for thank you for um, uh, stopping in on uh, Parent Night. Have a good day.